Do you mind? I'm needing someone. I... Oh. Oh. You mean I'm supposed to be meeting you? Nothing, it's just... I thought you'd be taller. Anyway, let's not get hung up on that. The Phoenix is a wanted man and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. Yeah, that's my code name for... You know, our mutual friend. Oh, I'm Golden Eagle. Um, yeah, I named you Cuckoo. That doesn't even make... Fine. Fine. Does this mean I'm supposed to have one too? Fine, but make it a really good one. Let's go with... Rufus Hummingbird. Forget it. Codenames are for amateurs anyway. Too late. I've already marked it off. Can't just go reassigning code names. Oh, oh, oh! Can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. You sure you don't want to be Raven or Sparrowhawk? Aww. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. Anyway, you're looking to make contact with Minister... Uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. Ha ha. Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's House of Inebriation between shifts. That place is still open? I used to study there during medical school. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. I've always been fascinated by birds. If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Trust me, anyone with a lick of sense gets out of here as soon as possible. But most people don't. In fact, most people stay exactly where they start. Doesn't that seem strange to you? And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. I mean, there's a shredder at the bottom of the box, so I don't know what you'd expect to happen. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. At first, management put up an out-of-order sign, but that just seemed to worry people, like they were advertising something wasn't working. They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it, never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? Except that's not how they go. At least that's not how they're supposed to go in Byzantium. The whole episode made me wonder, if they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Good hunting, Golden Eagle. Nothing exciting ever
can't something exciting happen around here for once? Nothing wrong with you. Take him down! You got presence. Natural magnetism. Know what I mean? There's those street smarts. Next time, we'll have you say that over the rim of a trippist out. Product placement, baby. Listen, uh, you got an agent? A mad scientist? Guy sounds like he's moonlighting. Here's some free advice. If you want to make it in this business, you got to work with professionals. Listen, you got a real special quality, raw. I'm making a feature, Space Pirates of Moros Prime. It's gonna be a hit, but we still need a star. And I think you got the chops. Not so fast. First, we gotta talk about royalties. Let's just see where this audition goes, huh? So what do you say? Terrific. Ro to be a model of a system? Not super accurate. I once treated a lady who got her hand caught in the gears. Maybe it was more worried about her rings than her fingers. I've always loved with the hips over here let me take a closer look ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. don't speak hold that posture for a moment while i admire you you have a natural contraposto my dear the way you rest your weight against your hip suggests a certain rugged charisma possessed only by the mighty primal and the well-traveled spacer splendid i love it Ah, oh, Celeste, you've done it again. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you that I'd found my muse. I'm Celeste Jolicoeur, and you, my dear, are exactly what Byzantium needs. Darling, you and that brutish swagger of yours have been on my mind the moment you stepped into my studio. I'm working on a new line of clothing that will shock this city to its core, and I'd like your help. What do you say, my dear? Care to make history with me? Everything I need to know can be deduced from a first impression. You're an outsider. You're exotic. When I look at you, I see the very embodiment of everything the walls of Byzantium were built to keep out. Making an outfit worthy of you won't be easy. Marvelous! You what I need is a survey of the outside world. Also, I expect you to model for me. Oh, you cad! You'll be the talk of Byzantium once I'm done with you. I'll need you to model for me the following. The ap and when I say spacer gear, I mean an outfit worn by real spacers. N you have the bearing and demeanor of a born model. Fabulous! You don't gotta be so forward about my reasons, Captain. Let me get a good look at you. Turn around, please, darling. My word. 
Such muscular shoulders. You're a vision, dear. Uh, I am no such thing, ma'am. Nonsense, you're absolutely lovely. Let me do a back of the envelope calculation. Love. That's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back! I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. If I... So what if all those MSIs you've made it on Monarch this whole time? I can do it. Easy. Oh, can you believe this outfit? Why? Well, I guess that's everything then. Y you know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. The next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. I love Byzantium. What else are you doing? Hey, hey, stand back. You, I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back. No times. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard <laughs> right here. The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Oh, um... Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate. My... Yep. That's a great idea! Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have! He's got powerful good ears, too. And a powerful thirst. Have you... Then you'll... Quite so. Take a hint. Hmm?
please allow me to improve your Here's to me! <laughs> hey, you're really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? He's allowed. Hey. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow. You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a, like a manosaur. You got a manosaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Nonsense. You've got another in you. Doctor's orders. Guess I can't argue with that. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I just need to sit down. Nice and easy. We're not gonna do this, are we? Promise me. My cousin's in pictures. That business makes piracy look civil. Great! You made it! We gave the other actors real weapons to keep things authentic. See, I knew you'd get it. Now go in there, find your mark, and show us what you got. Here to stop us at last, Captain Steel? You're too late! All of this settlement CNP Hungry Time food pills, same nutritional value but now with added filler, are ours. With their patented stomach stuffing effects and baseline vitamin content, we will be nigh unstoppable. They... they are? What an unexpected twist! You may have fooled me for now, but not for long. Can I shoot someone? Wait, are we the good guys or the bad guys? Doesn't matter. I want to shoot someone. Do you remember the last time we faced each other? The Battle of Axajax, staring one another down across the void of space while flaming debris fell like rain around us. I didn't write this, just go with it. 
I had you surrounded and outgunned, but you overcame my superior numbers with tactical thinking and a Hammersmith limited edition grenade launcher. I've been waiting for five years now, and at last my day for vengeance has come. I... oh... I just got chills. But still, you'll not stop me now. I have this whole port wired with sub-micro energon transistors. Once we're away, I'll activate the gamma particulate field and the quantiponic chain reaction will turn this whole place into vaporized plasma. Plasma's already a vapor-like kind of thing. You can't revaporize it. Can you? Quiet. You're supposed to be an extra. I hope you've paid your burial fees and signed your personal death and dismemberment waivers because this is the end for you. Law, oh, what a presence. I'm going to need a moment to match this energy. To the break room, everyone. I need my Moab fizzy tea. Cut, cut. That was fantastic. With actors like you, who needs writers? Let's take five. That was brilliant stuff. Amazing. Just firm up that jawline, and you'll be a triple threat. I'm gonna have to fire the writing staff. What do those anemic fuckwits know about dialogue, anyway? I'm thinking a whole new script. More pirates, bigger explosions, you flicking a stogie slim into a barrel of gasoline. Marketing says that kind of action sells tickets. Here, this is for your work today. I'll be in touch once we get that script. Citizens, today marks a monumentous occasion in the course of Halcyon history. Sure, there's my parents' place. Smell that? In Industrial grade cleaning solvent. Marilyn, is that you? Laws, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this. And I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. I don't know what to say. He's usually not like this. Come on, you're supposed to help me make an impression. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. Right? Are you trying to make me look bad? Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh... You tell him. Marilyn. Look. Speak. 
There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. Anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. R yep, we're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. You tell him. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. He's right. Since when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought you were dead. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. We only did what any grieving parents in our position would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? What vulgar company you keep, Marilyn? Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Damn right, Captain. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Let's talk outside. Can we talk? Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. I wanted them to get upset. I just thought it would play out differently. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas and then we'd walk in. Mother would drop her mock apple cider and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would tear off his glasses and blink open-mouthed. I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either, the leather's fake but the scars are real, or, oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? Yeah, I'm gonna use that one day. Now, getting back to my story. Father would throw his hands up, because this would be just like me, to come back and make a big scene. Then, Mother would do the old, You had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red, and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted, even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base. But I want to talk about me now. Unless you mean the kind who'll look out for you to blink so they could swipe your bits. The galaxy's not exactly crawling with those. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like... Wait a second. 
What if I could get that money? I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. As long as I don't develop a taste for Wolgonzola and bad legal dramas, that's fine by me. My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. If that doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. is off limits. Solicit this ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today? Typical. Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Finhill, I noticed your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, oh no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Oh! Nothing. Nothing. Laws, I knew it! Uh, you got me. I'm caught, aren't I? I work in the lab at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale. Some of my sprats went missing, but it's not my fault, okay? Maybe I let them out more often than regulations allow, but they need to stretch their little legs. And so what if I occasionally forgot to latch their cage? They escaped. Even if I did dare go down there, they're among all the common sewer sprats and exterminator mechanicals. Burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service.
You must be Joe. Oh, there. There's nothing to see. Chasing. I want you to know. Do you have any? Yeah. Hmm. All right. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! So, this is one of the guys who runs the colony, huh? Small room for a big shot. If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all, then? Oh dear, I don't... Of course, of course! It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. You are a quick study, indeed. I've long suspected Rockwell of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. Yeah, sure, it's always someone else who ordered the hookers and energizing ointment. Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. After seeing this place, is it really a stretch? Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. This all feels off, Captain. Like when there's a storm coming, but everything's quiet and still. Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. We really going to do this? Getting involved is a messy business, and it rarely pays. This is about more than bits. This is about the survival of the colony. If you don't help, who will? Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. We're discussing industrial espionage, legal redress, the possible salvation of Halcyon, is this not exhilarating? Also, this is the longest conversation I've had with someone else in quite some time. Via the Acropolis District, of course. But only board employees are allowed into the district. There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suites, where the... The board's lackeys are none too bright. I simply claimed I'd lost it and hid it somewhere no one would think to look. I merely hid it in a book. No one reads anything longer than a few pages around here. There are a few advantages to dealing with imbeciles. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earthbound message drone. Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell hasn't given me any messages from Earth for years. He's desperate to keep me out of contact with the Earth Directorate. But they need to know what's happening here. Why, indeed, I know so little about you, much less your motivations. But I'm afraid I don't have many options, confined as I am. 
Besides, I've nothing to lose. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and mismanagement plaguing Halcyon. Once the rest of the Earth Directorate sees it, they'll have to send help. You're awful trusting for a guy who's been locked in his own house for years. The Earth Directorate is our best hope. Even Rockwell's resources are no match. Depending on the nature of their response, months at least, perhaps years. Organizing and sending personnel all the way out here is no mean feat. And now I entrust it to you. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Captain. 